Well, ladies and gentlemen, after about a week of travel time, my horn button is finally here. Also, I feel like I've been very, very rude. There's been a ton of new subscribers on the channel, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much. We're nearly at 8,000, which is, is it's my one. It's so, so cool. Um, but I haven't even said my name. I mean, a lot of you know who I am, but I haven't said my name, introduced myself as anything to anyone who's new. So if you're new, thank you so much. My name is Christian. This is Miley. My 97 Volkswagen Jetta recently swapped to a VR6. Uh, running well so far, and I'm moving to Germany and actually the wedding's at two months from today, which is crazy. And then the 24th of May this year is my official last day in Florida. So if you're in Germany, I'm coming for you guys. We're landing in Frankfurt and then driving down to Ramstein. Uh, my soon be wife is in the Air Force, so she's in South Korea right now. I was there back in September. Amazing, amazing place. And then she comes home for a little while. We get married and off to Germany next. So if you're in Germany, coming for you guys. I can't wait. And yes, Miley is going with. A few things to do to make the car pass an inspection before it gets shipped off, but uh, Miley's going to Germany. I'm going to Germany, we're going to Germany. It's gonna be awesome. I'm bringing all of you guys with me. Fun Germany adventures coming very, very soon, but let's get into this thing. Okay, let's put you guys right over yonder there. That should do it. Okay, so talking about this, this is my new horn button for my Mobile California. Uh, the button it came with is cool, but nothing in my car is yellow, so I wanna swap it up for a black and black one. Um, I looked it up right here so you can see this. Right, uh, you can kinda see it. Rockledge, Florida is literally 52 minutes from my house, okay? When I ordered my steering wheel from the same place in Rockledge, it took two days. Ordered it late Tuesday in the day, got there Thursday like 2 p.m., which is sick. Now, I ordered this thing early morning Tuesday, like 9.15 Tuesday morning, right? Then it goes, for no reason, to North Carolina, then South Carolina. Almost, it took a week to go 52 minutes away. It is what it is, it's here now, it's here. We're gonna get into this, I'm excited for it. It's a whole lot of hype for a horn button, but I'm really excited for it, because I want it, and I'll just tie my interior together that much more. <laughs> also, this is a very big envelope for a small horn button. Give it, give it, give it, ah! All that weight for this. All that weight for this little guy. But this thing is sick. So right here, we have a beautiful Gloss black, matte black, and chrome Momo horn button. It's gonna fit in so well. Like, so the yellow one's nice, but like this, you can, you can see right now, this will look 10 times better in the car. Like I said, this one's dope. Don't get me wrong, but where's the yellow in my car? Where is it? You see it anywhere? Because I don't see the yellow anywhere. It doesn't match. So that one's coming out. This one's going in. See if we can set you. Mark three dashes are not good for holding cameras. Oh, that's so sketch. I think that'll maybe work. You might see you guys tumble off the dash in a second. We're gonna pull out the old horn button, super easy. And swap in the new one. Plug her on up. Even though I'm pretty sure my horn does not work right now, which I need to go ahead and sort that out, but it is what it is. Not that big a deal. When you got a VR6, you don't need a horn. Center up. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come here. Get you some. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, this one down here, if I can get it out. What's cool? Volume. That's what I'm talking about. And honestly, in the picture, I thought this center was gloss black too, um, but this one's actually matte gloss and then matte again, but I, I'm, not, I'm not mad. Not mad at all, I dig it. And then in terms of a gauge cluster, I think I would be honestly happy. I know people make custom ones, but I've thought about it for so long, I can't decide what I, what I even want out of that. Um, but if I could just get chrome needles for the temperature, the gas, the RPM and speed to match like the ring and all the rest of the chrome stuff in the car, I think I would be super, super happy with that. I've been sitting here and just kind of thinking through ideas of what would be cool for the face of the gauge cluster. And actually I have some cool ideas, so I might have to hit up that guy who makes them and see if he can't do a really cool design on the uh, the faces. And then if I can somehow find chrome or like polish, probably not polish, but probably chrome like covered needles, that would be dope. That'd be dope. But aside from that, the interior, I'm very, very happy with how it's coming along. Like I'm very, very pleased with this thing. Come along well. And then another thing I want to do in the interior, I like this shift knob a lot. The weight is awesome and it's posh and matches the car, but 
you guys remember I had this really really awesome mark 3 golf ball one bottom piece polished custom top piece says for Carl matches the seats like this one this one is awesome. It looks so beautiful and Danny, they all did an awesome job putting this together. I really love it, but I wanted you to make this one fit. I want you to take this one off. I want to cut the uh, the shift rod down a little bit. That would make this fit, but then I also want to thread this one or get a cap for it. So that way this one can actually screw on and be tight because I don't want it like, you know, spinning and flying around. But I definitely want to put this one back on because like, oh yeah, that's the, that's the move next. Very soon. And then over here for reference, I ordered myself a set of VR6 badges, one for the front, one for the rear. I don't know if I should use the rear one or not, but uh, I do want to put the front one on the car. I think it looks pretty cool. Like right there. Some people do it here, and some do it like on this bottom one. I'm not sure I'll put it yet, but I do I do want to have a VR6 badge in the car. Gotta let them know. It looks cool. They might do it there. I think what do you think? Bottom or middle? Top. Rat support. No, <laughs> probably, probably middle, I think. Or bottom, I can't decide. I don't know. One of the two, I'll have a VRC better there. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this vlog again tomorrow. My buddy Kevin is actually coming down. I think he lives in Connecticut, I wanna say, or PA. Somewhere like up there. But he has a really cool Mark III. It's blue right here on the screen, or somewhere on the screen. Um, he actually shoots for Dub Empire. He's coming down to Florida for like two or three days. He gets in tomorrow and we're trying to set up a shoot. He wants to shoot my car. Um, so if everything works out tomorrow. I'll pick up the vlog then when he's down here talking a little bit. It's really cool to meet people over the internet you've never met before. Well, like, meet safe people over the internet. Um, but to meet somebody you've never met before, but you have a cool friendship and a cool bond because of, because of the car. Because a little Volkswagen, a little 90s Econo box. So that's pretty cool. So hopefully tomorrow that all works out. And then we'll see Kevin and we'll pick up the vlog uh, then. We're back. It is Tuesday now. I wasn't sure if this shoot was going to work. Um, but his plan came in on time. I actually have a little bit, little bit of free time. I'm actually going to be working in the gym coaching while he's shooting in the car. But got to do what you got to do. It might rain. It's looking a little bit dark today because Florida can never make up its mind. There we go. It's a little bit dark, so it might just rain. But we'll see. Where's that it? Man, this horn button makes me so happy. I love it. I love it. Well, made it to here and I smelled fuel like crazy and my car was just spraying fuel out right there. So we're gonna have to go ahead and tighten this top line like fuel was shooting out like everywhere. I cut the car obviously. That's no good, that's no good. Okay, hang on, stand by. Okay, a couple things. I got these as tight as I possibly can get them. I don't know how they got loose, but some of them did. Uh, number two, fuel eats paint off like a champ so now all that looks terrible and three i slipped and gouged my knuckle on the side of this thing but i didn't hit this part i hit this part but still that really really hurt now i'm behind the schedule hopefully this works okay let's try this again please don't be leaking everywhere okay i think we're good it was like spraying out like crazy before Okay, I think we're good. Rip all my nice paint. Oh, well, we'll fix it. Okay, glad that was an easy fix. When I went back into the garage, I was like, man, I smell fuel. I saw a puddle on the floor. I'm like, well, that's not good. So we ran back to the car, popped the hood, and it's just like spraying everywhere. But easy fix. We're now way behind the schedule. Let's go. to the gym camera batteries on red my car is on e because it was spraying all that fuel out but we made it i think my man's here my man's kevin's hey what a good timing oh what's up man i normally don't greet new people with a camera but for this one time i'm gonna do it that's no, all right man hi ben i'm all right i'm all right nice to meet you buddy nice to meet you this is my fiance audrey how are you doing all right got the car parked up on this side kevin's doing his thing this man has three cameras on him we got a film camera, a Canon, and what's the other one? Uh, the 
Two film cameras, two dude. Full cameras. Two Lycos and a Canon. Dude, my man is strapped up. My camera's flashing red because I didn't bring another battery. Actually, I did bring another battery, but this one's also dead, which sucks. I have to go inside to work a little bit, so I'll be like in and out, back and forth, but you do your thing. If you need me, you want to move the car, do your thing. I don't care. All right, man. You want to do burnouts in it, just make sure you film it. I don't really care. <laughs> I'll be back in just a second. Do your thing. So I heard my car start, and Kevin moved it from there to there. He said the clutch feels kind of weird. He has a 2.0, so I understand the difference between the hydraulic clutch and the cable clutch. We're gonna move the car over to this section now because he wants this fancy tree in the background. Okay, so unfortunately, both of my batteries have died. Um, but Kevin just finished shooting the car. I'm gonna take him and his girls for a quick ride, gas station and back, nothing too crazy, and let them see how they, uh, how they like it. I honestly think you're the first person to ever ride on the back of my car with the harness bar. So just, oh, wow. just watch your. I'm not gonna crash this, but just watch your face, just in case. Just in case, you know, because that's no fun. And there you go. It still runs. We're running low on fuel. What was your last VR you were in? Uh, either I think, think it might have been Henry's, um, but Henry doesn't like to really beat on him. I haven't. I just hit 500 miles. So I can like really. Oh, now you're now you're through brake breakdown or uh, well for the clutch at least. Yeah, the motor me. was used for so the clutch at least, but I haven't really killed on it, but I've gone on it a little bit. What do you think so far? Actually, you're the first one. I didn't think Greg's rode on my car yet. Really? I don't think so, honestly. I uh, I like it a lot. You like it? Yeah, it, it, it rides nice. So in person, what do you think of the car? What do you think? Uh, photos don't do it justice. No? I will say that. See, yeah. I think it looks personally worse in photo, or for worse in person and better in photos. Yeah, well, that's how a lot of things usually go. My car's the same way. It looks awesome in photos. Yeah. As soon as you get like 10 feet up on my yeah. car, it looks like a pile. But I also know, I also know something that's wrong with my car because it is my car, but you give my the approval? Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Nice. Get, get the New England approval. <laughs> hey, I have to go. I was saying you're from Pierre, Connecticut. So you're from New England. Connecticut. Okay, okay, I was right. Okay. Connecticut, New England, same that area? thing. Once you get past New York, that's not really New England no more. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to come visit some time when I'm back in the States. Oh, yeah. All right. We have the fuels. Quick ride back. This is why I was saying the internet's cool because we've never met. No, we haven't. I haven't met you either, but. Because the internet. Yeah, internet. We're all here in Florida and somehow in a internet mark little things. 90s Econo box. Yep. Talk about you met friends for like the longest time. I'll give that back to you. Right. For another little cruise. Yeah, another little. You're good back there? The bar not too close to you? Yeah, no. You're the first person I actually had back there, so I always worry. I'm going to like break hard and they're going to eat the bar. That's Yeah, break hard, eat, smash teeth. No. Nah. I hate to do that to you. <laughs> well, it's an honor to be back here. Okay, quick little cruise back. Yeah, no, my, my clutch, it, you can come so far off yeah. the floor with it. When I first chose the car compared to my cable clutch, yeah, it's so different. I almost stalled the car because I let it go so fast. It's like, well, that's right the thing. I, I, I stalled your car like two times, and I was like, I'm not going to do that. New clutch plus this hydraulic. Yeah. It makes a big difference. No, like, it does. It really does. It's fun. 
I want to make it faster still, but it's fun. I enjoy it a lot. It'll, it'll put you back if, like, when you were to, when you just did that hundred pull, that that will that'll put you back. That wasn't a hundred pull. That was a fifty-five mile an hour pull. I was doing the speed limit. <laughs> getting us in trouble saying we're doing hundred miles an hour. Mexico. This car won't even do hundred miles an hour. It's fifty-five maxed out. Mexico. Fifth gear maxed out, fifty-five miles an hour. That's all it goes. <laughs> That's all she'll do. All right. So end verdict. What do you think? I nice, it. enjoyable. Yeah. That's fun. M making me think about VR swapping my car because I've been on like this 1AT kick for a long time. And, uh, Honestly, 1AT is sick, but like that, that how noise. the VR6 looks in the car. No, it's the noise. And the noise is at home. It's the noise and how it pulls. That's the thing. When you have that versus the 1AT, you don't have any of the lag. That's true. And, and then you have to add a turbo or right turn to this, and then you, you have, have all way more power, all the power <laughs> and the sound still. That's cool, man. It was really fun meeting you guys. I'm glad you guys had to come out. Yeah, dude, awesome. absolutely. Very cool meeting you. Absolutely. Very nice meeting you as well. A little sneak peek of some of the photos. I'm hyped. I'm glad it worked out. Oh, yeah, no, I'm glad we were able to link. My camera is flashing red. I got about 30 seconds, give or take. Um, but Kevin, Audrey, you guys are awesome. Super cool to meet you guys. Uh, it's just kind of crazy that the internet can bring people together just from all over the world, kind of just connected through these things. I think it's so, so cool. Very cool opportunity. Hope you guys enjoyed this little midweek vlog.